today we're in a city called Rocco di Papa. It's uh, just south of Rome, maybe 15 miles. We came here by car. I'm not sure if they have a train station. I would think they do. I'm gonna find out. Um, anyway, it's up on this hill. You can kind of see behind me. It's kind of all, all up in there. We're gonna take a walk through there. Uh, we're in the Castelli Romani region, Roman castle area of, uh, of the Rome area. Take a walk with us and we'll see what we find and it uh, should be interesting. Here's a better look at the city that we're about to go explore. So as we're up on a hill, this is looking down onto the Rome metro area off in the distance. Rocca di Papa has its own mini castle. We're in the Parco dei Castelli Romani. So we're gonna try to make it to the top up there and uh, get a view and see what it's about. So here we go. So we're gonna walk up this street. I don't know if you can tell, but it's about a Oh, probably a 20% grade. We'll stop at some shops if they're open. It's about one in the afternoon right now. So we'll see what we find. So I'm sure everybody's heard about the dollar homes they're selling in Italy. Well, here you can buy one for $29,000, but it's may not be big. It's 35 square meters. That's something like 400 square feet. Um, didn't look like much, but hey, it's a start. I don't know if you can tell. Go up a little closer to the kitchen. Shows you a picture of the kitchen. Like, here's another one, much nicer looking. It's 90 square meters. That's over a thousand square feet, and it's listed for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I think that's probably a better value. You pay a dollar, but then you are going to be likely in an area that would be very removed from every everyone. And you're gonna put in at least a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars to renovate it. So this is a good alternative. Okay, this climb is starting to make me breathe hard. It's a bit of a workout. If you live here, and you have to walk these streets every day. You're gonna stay in good shape. So we're about a third of the way up the to the top. Here's a little market. Here's a pizzeria that sounds kind of good, but it's closed. Here's one of those cool apartments that's for sale. It started to rain, so we jumped into a church right here. And you kind of get a look, it's kind of nice. Here's, this one reminds me of the Pieta that's in uh, that's in St. Peter's Basilica. I doubt this one was done by Michelangelo, but it's still a very pretty statue. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. One day we'll all end up like this. I'll be drenched. Buongiorno. I'll be drenched by the time. So this reminds me of a small town that's barely been impacted by tourism. So she didn't say much. She was in a hurry to get out of the rain, I think. Subscribe to his channel. It's right now. Canale. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it started raining, but we're still making our way to the top. I walked up on somebody's staircase to get a view. It's a little bit rainy, so you can't see a long ways, but it is very pretty. Here's a nice alleyway. Lots of stairs, but everybody's got a good view. Here's a couple more places for sale. Up at this top and the second to the top. Probably get a good deal. So we're getting higher. It's hard to tell, but that's Rome there in the distance under those ominous clouds. Maybe we'll stop and grab lunch here. So we decided to step in and get a bite to eat. It's kind of a cute little restaurant. About half or three quarters of the way up to the top. There's nobody here, but today's a quiet day and uh, it's raining a little bit, so. So our food came out, looks really good. A little charcuterie, some salad, some olives, a little bit of bread. Hey, we just got done eating. It was actually really good. Uh, so if you're up here, come give these guys a visit. You're probably wondering what we spent. Uh, it, was, it was 22 euro. There's a $2 cover fee, which is basically your tip. And then, uh, so total was 22. I don't think we're gonna make it to the top. 
We, uh, our parking runs out at three o'clock, so we have about 30 minutes to get back to the car. But we did make it quite a ways up. We had a little ways to go. Another view of the countryside of Rome. It's kind of a pretty alleyway. You got the high path and the low path. I'm tempted to go high. It's a pretty quiet town. You hear people in the background. Cars come by every now and again. But otherwise, it's kind of a fun city just to kind of walk around and explore. See what you find. You notice they don't have a lot of front lawns here, so people decorate their patios and what they can with flowers and stuff is pretty common. Here's another example of that. Then the neighbors up above put in some plants outside their window. Just those touches of green that make things kind of, I don't know, it just kind of relaxes you. Makes you feel like at peace. Here's another one. This lady has the green going up to the doorway. Take a little bit of video as we head down. Down to where we came from. Here's kind of an interesting little side street. Again, we got a decision. We're gonna head down. Kim and I need to remember, between one and four, most of the shops in these small towns shut down. It's free to park, that's a good thing during those hours, but uh, but most of the stores are closed, so it's kind of hard to get a vibe for, for the city when most of the shops are closed. But they all open up at four, and then they'll stay open until, you know, seven, eight, nine at night, depending on the store. Here's some bonus footage of Kim getting footage. Here's some more footage. <laughs> See you later, Roca di Papa. So we just got back from uh, Roca di Papa and I have a couple of observations and maybe some tips for you. If you're gonna go, I would uh, recommend you go there in the morning and try to get there by 4.10 in the morning so you have a couple of hours before the shops start shutting down or get there around four in the afternoon and then spend the afternoon, go explore the town, the basilica, um, lots of alleyways. It's just really kind of a medieval town. I'm not sure about medieval, but it yeah, it kind of is. Um, it just feels like uh, it's not been, you know, changed much over the years. I bet it was this same way 30, 40 years ago. The city probably has not changed, you know, other than some conveniences with for, for but other than that for the most part what you're seeing is what you got you know 40 years ago maybe even 100 years ago so um yeah go go on to roca de papa it's a it's a great little town to explore here's the best idea though or suggestion i would have if you're interested in the castelli romani there are some great towns there's castel gandolfo there's Nemi, there's uh um frascati there's this one roca de papa the best base would be to go to Frascati. Frascati is very easily accessible by train from Rome. You can base out of there for a couple of days and then easily catch buses to each of these cities to explore. Um, that would be my recommendation. If you're in Rome and you just want to go to a couple of the cities, the two easiest cities to go to by train are, are um, Frascati. That's about a 30 minute ride on the train. And then you stay on the train a little bit longer. It drives you right into um, Castel Gandolfo. And those two cities are great in and of, of themselves. So if you're just interested in a day trip from Rome and not wanting to stay, those would be my two choices for you. And I think uh, you'll get a lot out of both of those cities. But if you want to explore in depth, then yeah, I would say stay in Frascati and then try to catch buses to the uh, various towns of the Castelli-Romani region. But um, super fun day trip. 
And uh, if you get up there and you get the chance to do this, I think you'll really enjoy it. Also, one more thing. I gotta shamelessly ask you to subscribe to my channel. And there's also other videos, and I'll post a couple of them here of the other Castelli Romani towns that we visited. And you can take a look at those and see what you think. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.